Talk Show. Hi everyone, I'm here with my first ever guest who is an athlete from a different sport at Western. I'm here with Brad, how do you say your last name? Noel. Noel, I should know that, I've known him for four years. Okay. He's on the men's tennis team and we're going to talk some volleyball because little known fact about Boo, we call him Boo Radley, like the guy from To Kill a Mockingbird is that he's a super volleyball fan. Is that correct? That's correct. I do say when it's not volleyball season, it's not any season. So. Thank you. I like that mm-hmm. saying. Um, what do you love most about volleyball? Like, what draws you in? Uh, the fast-paced game. It's just something's going all the time. Um, knowing you guys from the dorms freshman year, just putting a face in the game, It's uh, it just really kind of got me started. I kind of wish there was more opportunity when I was younger to play, you know, in the men's game and... Uh, I'm sure Coach Mo's happy I'm on the tennis team, but I could definitely, if I started younger, I could definitely see myself uh, playing volleyball. What's your favorite thing to happen during a game? Is there, like, one play that you love when it happens or when someone gets a sweet dig? Um, I just like it when you guys run the slide, actually. The slide? Yeah, Jess Brown running the slide. She gets up there, and uh, her hang time's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. You have good hang time? Not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what position? Are the middles then your favorite position a- actually, to Actually... No, I like their interaction. Yeah, I mean it's fun to you know see uh, the middles play and terminate, and also outside hitters. But terminate. it's more he's got the vocab down. <laughs> it's more fun actually to to watch the the DSs and libero in the in the back row because DS stands for defensive specialist. Oh right. Yeah. And uh, I, you know I'm five eight. If I played, I I really wouldn't be up in the front row at all. I'd I'd, I'd be in the back. So excuse me. I mean, in the men's game. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> a little, little bit different. Team. But, um, and you obviously jump better than I could, so, you know. Um, it's up for the <laughs> <laughs> But, I, you know, I just like to watch the DS and the libero, just kind of how they're reading the play and, and uh, you know, with the block where they're covering and, and then where they're going to dig. Yeah. yeah. What do you know about reading? Is it similar to tennis? Because sometimes I wonder, okay, I don't, I'm a terrible tennis player and I don't know a lot about it, but sometimes when I do watch it on TV, or watch you all play. Like, do you have to make reads, too? Of course. Not so much in singles. Or is it just guessing? There is some guessing involved, but when you're playing doubles and you're shifting with your partner in the court, you definitely know where the high percentage shot is going to go and where to cover. So do you see parallels between oh, for sure. volleyball and yeah. tennis? It's like the net person in tennis being the blockers, and then the person, if you're at the baseline... Your partner, it's kind of, you know, like the, okay, the DS, so there's definitely a parallel there. I like it, the DS, there's no setter, because it's only... Two people, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, he follows our team a ton. Mm. What are some... You're at almost every home game, unless for some reason you can't make it. No, I skip class to go if I can't make it. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> just kidding. He does not ever do that. Okay. Only once. <laughs> <laughs> We're worth it. What's your coach's name? <laughs> coach Mel. Coach Mel, we're worth it. Don't, don't be mad. You guys staying up there, Coach Mel. Don't yeah, worry. you're a smarty pants anyway. So, you've been there a lot. What are some of your favorite moments? I feel like well, you've this been with year, us for ages. Yeah, you have. This year, in, uh, more recently, the win over Northern was big. You know, being down 14 13 in the fifth and coming back match point down. I mean, I've had some matches and singles where I've played and been down match point. It doesn't happen very often. You come back and win, but. It's definitely thrilling, and, uh, you know, having lost in five at Northern, good revenge for you guys. Good revenge. Um, being from Ohio, I don't like Ohio sports at all, <laughs> and I like whenever you guys beat Ohio, especially in three, so this year, Ohio, you're going down in the semifinals. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else has been a, oh, Penn State, you know, when you guys played yeah, in the Sweet Penn 16, State. I was there. down to Penn State. My, my relatives live in, in State College, so well, I, wasn't, watch us, I wasn't yeah. crazy, but, you know, um... The atmosphere was great. It was packed. Um, just even in the warm up to see some of the Penn State hitters, um, it was it was amazing. You like Penn State volleyball? I do. So. They're they're my favorite team when WMU is not playing. So since you're such a super fan, I think that people have never really seen a competitive volleyball match before, so sometimes they don't know what it's going to be like. Mm-hmm. So here's your turn, your chance, sales pitch to people that aren't <laughs> too sure about watching women's volleyball, why they should come. What's great about it? Well, in comparison to tennis, it's a whole lot easier to follow. I mean, the scoring, it's, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or tennis, you got 30 love, 40, 15. People are like, what's going on? How many sets do you have to win? So the scoring's very easy to follow. Um, like I said, it's fast-paced. Um, you know, for the guys out there, the girls are, you know, well, it's going to be a dress, <laughs> then uh, watching a tennis match. So that's a plus. Um, 
What else? Um, I think that's all I can think of right now. But oh. you guys should all come out to Toledo and support the Broncos. How about we're good? You guys are good. You too. <laughs> yeah. Winners always if, uh, In my opinion, if they play how they can play, they'll get it done. From I, just watching. I guys. concur. Yeah. I concur. It's all, it's all in your hands. That's how I see it. All right. Yeah. All right, you ready for five questions? Wow, exciting stuff. I know. There's really nothing. Oh, show everybody your shirt, first of all. Oh. So I didn't even tell him to wear this. I just put it he on was today, like, look yeah. what I had on. I, I didn't realize it drive. driving you on the way. Yeah, see? Big fan. All right, five questions. Ready? Mm -hmm. Favorite volleyball player ever? Uh, favorite volleyball player ever? Wow. Uh, Megan Hodge from Penn State. All right. Yeah. That's a respectable mm -hmm. answer. Yeah. I can respect that. Yeah. Favorite volleyball player on our team? I shouldn't have asked that. I feel like you asked this question to Tim a couple weeks I like, ago. No, I asked him favorite sport, which obviously is volleyball. I have a couple co-favorites, let's say that. Okay, who um, are your co-favorites? I gotta go with C-Money Courtney Seiler as being one of them up there. Um, of course... Hi, hi Snorty. <laughs> you didn't just say that. Of course, uh, Sammy V, we got the voice of the Sam Biak show, Boo. Um, Boo's like... <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, Allie Doyle, because we're in the same grade, you know, just, uh, I give her a lot of credit. You know, last week when she got her senior picture taken and just all the phenomenal figures that she had, it's, it's pretty amazing. I know. She's just everywhere. And I specifically watched her on Saturday and she's just all over the place. Like, I didn't realize how many digs she gets each match and, and she's just there all the time. She is. Mm -hmm. She's a queen bee. Yeah. So good stuff. <laughs> Favorite tennis player ever? Oh man, tennis player ever. I gotta say Andre Agassi on the men's side, and then uh, on the women's side it's gotta be Maria Sharapova. What do you admire or like about them? They're both just feisty competitors, you know, they both play from the baseline, which how I play. Um, they both... What does that mean? It means you don't come up to the net and take the ball out of the air. Okay. You just let the ball bounce on your side first okay. before you hit That's it. That's a good tennis lesson. Yep. Um, <laughs> They just fight. They just are just always going after it, every point, competing hard. So, true champions at heart. True champions mm -hmm. at heart. All right, we're veering a little away from sports. Okay. What's on your iPod? Um, I have some... You seem like a country guy. I do. Yeah, we, okay. we share that oh, yeah. love of country. Yeah. Um, I got into country freshman year because of uh, Coach Mo, actually. He puts it on in the van about... 98% of the time while we're traveling. So if you don't like country, bring your iPod or go in the assistant coach, Jose or Boyan's van. Um, country, I got my Latino music on there. Speak Spanish, so I love that. Oh, yeah. He say something. Uh, <laughs> Anything. Say Western Michigan Volleyball rocks. Uh, the, yeah, that's, that's like, like that's all like English. English. You don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> say... Sam BX is la chica más loca en todo el mundo. <laughs> Something I'm I said crazy. you're the craziest girl in the entire world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have a lot of international kids on the tennis we do, team. So do you bond on music? Do you pick up like a little bit from each person? Um, I feel like whenever I think of the tennis team, for some reason I think of techno music because I, you're always listening to techno. Um, I just picture Zayad going like this. Yeah, Zayad does love his techno. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, there's not really any Spanish-speaking guys on the team besides oh, Simone, yeah. but... Simone? Yeah, he speaks Spanish, but... Wait, where's Simone from? He's from uh, Sweden, yeah. Oh. But yeah, anyways, okay. <laughs> long story short, I don't really pick up their music, but, you know, okay. long shot. Do any of them pick up the country? Uh, not really, they can't no. stand it. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah no, they make fun of it, they don't think it's music, um, so it's just Coach Mona on that one. Oh, yeah. alright. Pablo can get into it, so... Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you kind of already answered this, but this is going to be our final question. Oh, wait, what's your major? Management in Spanish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do when you graduate? Um, I would love to move to Chicago, actually, and uh, <laughs> work. You just fist pumped. Yeah, she's, she's <laughs> about that. Work for um, either an airline or um, an airport in operations or management. I don't know, that's like the dream job, but anything that pays the bills. Okay, if you can't do that, your second dream job obviously would be to per be a professional volleyball player. Oh, yeah, but I'm a little behind on that. So what position would you play? I would definitely be a libero. I, yeah. I, would, I would love to be in there. Reminiscent of Lena Oliver and Caitlin Strimmel? Yeah, I mean, you know, just the feeling, the rush to get a pancake, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that right No, now. that's right. It's a pancake. <laughs> pancake. Explain what a pancake is. Well, when you're fully stretched out on the court and you're diving for it and your hand's flat and the ball just kind of comes up off your hand. You know, it's a pancake. Gotta love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you.
nice talking volleyball. We'll have you on for tennis sometime. All right, sounds good. Um, we play MAC tournament this weekend. We leave tomorrow. We play Friday at 1.30 versus the Miami Red Hawks. Um, everyone can come on down. The hotel is attached to the convention center where we play. How convenient and easy is that for everyone? So Friday, 1.30 against Miami. Um, have a great Thanksgiving. Go Broncos! The Sam Biak Show!